So I grew up, I started playing the drums when I was 10, and I have an older brother who's a, who became a drummer as well. So he was in college. He, he, when he started playing the drums, and I think you know who he is, and you know his credits are, are equal to mine, if not more. Yeah. But um, yeah. so I was a kid, and I had this mentor who used to, you know, who not only was he my mentor, but he would, when I was little, he would get me by my ankles from the top bunk, and I was in the lower bunk, and he would bang my head on the floor. So... <laughs> In time, of course, but <laughs> you know, I lived with my my mentor, my my um, you know, he inspired me. Of course, we loved music. Uh, my parent, my father, was a dancer. Uh, I didn't know he, that he taught uh, ballroom dancing. Wow, uh, very very uh, awesome uh, dancer, and and then he went on to move on to the car business, but uh, <clears throat> but he um, he was very you know rhythmic rhythmical and uh, my mother was you know our mother but she actually sang um not professionally but you know in the kitchen then they used to call they call her friends called her like little billy holiday she had a beautiful voice i wow. have very fond memories of that so um anyway i'll it just still takes us a minute or two to to get to exactly what you had asked me so my brother was a big influence and within a few years he became really good we grew up uh, in Westchester County and not far from New York City my brother ended up in a band with a guitar player um, a, a young guitar player named Dave Spinoza who at 17 or 18 was like you know, he's doing sessions in New York, yeah. you yeah. know, on a daily basis. And he and my brother were in a band together, My bro and he started recommending my brother for sessions probably in the late 60s. Okay. Um, so, my bro so I learned, ironically, from my brother, I learned a lot about being tasteful, you know, how to play, how to how to play drums on a record, not in, not live, but you know how to how to kind of compose a drum part for a song, generally as you know, sort of singer songwriter pump pop song or whatever. So so which was uh, very different to where my um, where my um, my sensibility ended up. But uh, but that was a good thing, just a good way to start. It was a good foundation. Um, I grew up listening to Motown. You know, it was black music. If it wasn't black, it, I didn't really take it seriously, really, for the most part. Mm. Generally, I was just way deep into into soul, you know. Yeah. Uh, Motown, Stax, Philly a little bit later in the 70s. But, you know, um, and that kind of playing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, I was still really in high school when I got an I got an opportunity to tour with a, a band. Um, so you started when you were ten, but by the time you're what fifteen, then sixteen, you're saying? Yeah, no, I, I was good. Start. I was good at. My brother had done a record for a band on Columbia. Oh, okay. It's like in the ninth, maybe nineteen seventy two. They were going at a top 40 single. Back then, top 40 single was a big thing. And they wanted him to go on tour with them. Um, and he couldn't. He wouldn't, wasn't going to do that because he was doing sessions in New York. Um, but he recommended me when I went to play with these guys. They were like college guys. They were maybe, you know, maybe four, four years older than me. Mm -hmm. um, and I was in summer school. You probably know the story. But I was in summer school. Uh, after 11th grade, because I, I was going to graduate a year early, which I did. So uh, about a week before summer school was over, I got this opportunity to, to I went and, and played with those guys. And they were like, they were called Arthur Hurley and Gottlieb. And ironically, they were, it was very much like Crosby, Stills and Nash oh, okay. at that time, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it was that, you know, violin, acoustic guitar, guy, bass player, played piano, really good. Very good band. Very good guys. Right. Good writers. So um, I, I I had to appeal to my teachers in summer school, which were there were two. Uh, I was lucky and they let me take my final exams on the road with me. So Arthur Hurley and Gottlieb was like a James Taylor. You know, there was a lot of um, brushes on 
brushes on drums. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to raise this up a little bit so I don't have to keep bending over. Sure. Um, um, brushes on toms like fire and rain. They were, they were, they were, that was that very popular kind of music then at that time. Yeah, yeah. Hard to believe that I have two studios the way I'm wrestling <laughs> with this. Um, <laughs> so I kind of had that going for me. Yeah. Which is strange, but, but you know, it was so you were on was the road. I was tasteful, and I went on the road with them. At like 17 then, you're saying? Yeah, the first gig we did was we flew to Miami, um, and we did, we opened a show at a high lie. Um, you know, high lie is a sport. Um, oh. in, 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 it's a, uh, I can't, do, do you either, do you I've know never heard of it. They, they, they have these things like, that are, that are like, Scoops. Oh, and okay. W wing this ball. Yeah, I know what that is. You know, they, they have these highlight arenas, you know, like thousands, thousands of people. Yeah. I think it's maybe like a South American, okay. Spanish. Anyway, we opened for um, Richie Havens, who at the time was huge. Huge, you know, yeah, sure. Because that, you know, uh, Woodstock had only been a few years before. So. Right, right. Yeah. So, uh, so, but in any event, uh, the, the, the more to the, the style. Then uh, it wasn't long after that that I joined this band, a band called Orleans that were based up here in Woodstock, and they did this whole other thing that was like rock and soul, rock and soul, sure. it's just incredible. John Hall, amazing writer. Every song, almost every song, was a guitar riff. Yeah, yeah, like a clean up woman yeah. kind of guitar riff, and uh, and and then. Um, and Larry Hoppin, Lance Hoppin, Wells Kelly was the other drummer in the band. So it was like a great learning experience for me. Yeah. yeah. And it opened my, it opened up that whole bringing back that R&B funk, funk thing. Um, but the where things really went left is when I started playing with Peter Gabriel. 